guys. Welcome to Better Bachelor. My name is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. Um, this is kind of a fun one. This is actually, uh, there's a channel called Pop Poplitics. I think she named it Poplitics. Yeah, Poplitics. It's a small channel. It's a, it's a conservative gal, uh, Alex Clark, who's got about 25,000 subscribers. I think this is very interesting. And this reinforces what I say about um, some of the other female content creators that many of you disagreed with me with, but but I'm gonna prove my point, darn it all. 63% uh, of men can't be bothered with women and it's growing. I think this is a good thing, women are noticing. And we're gonna get into it a little bit. So uh, before we get into this, I want I, I want to talk about this gal's channel. Uh, channel. I have nothing against her, no, you know, she's just another content creator. Somebody linked this down below one of the videos over on YouTube and I decided to check it out. She's got 25,000 subscribers. She's got 956 videos, which I think is more than me. So the girl is grinding out videos, but she also does a lot of shorts. Those, those count too. But my point I wanted to make is I want you to see something, okay? She had a video out uh, half, half an hour ago. It's got 175 views. She's got a video out from 16 hours, 1.2K or 1,200 views. A day ago, 3,000 views. Two days ago, 4,800 views. I'm going somewhere with this, mind you. Uh, something about Tucker Carlson, 4,200 views. And then this one, why Gen Z and millennials are no longer dating, 58,000 views. She blew up on this one. Why? Because she started talking about men's content. The same thing that the men's channels like myself and all the others do, right? Now I'm gonna click on this and I'll pause the if video. You're a single girl. I'm gonna pause the video. I got a two minute, I got a two minute clip out of this. We're gonna talk about because she does bring a couple of points up that I wanted to, to to talk about, but I wanna go down here to the comments. Because this is the same thing I said about pearly things and the other men's or the other women doing kind of the men's content, like the yay men's content, and it's the girl's fault, right? This is Red. He's 27 guy. Another guy. Another guy. Another guy. Uh, another guy. Another guy. Another guy. Another guy. Another guy. Another guy. This one's a woman. A guy. A guy. A guy. A guy. A guy. A guy. Uh, 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 uh. They're all men replying to her. Now, some one of the guys did mention like, oh, well, you're pretty much just re rehashing. Uh, let me let me see if, are these sort by the, uh, yeah, the top comments here. And I think one of the upper ones here was like, yeah, basically you're saying all the things that men have said. Yeah, right here. She said absolutely nothing that the male community hasn't said for years, 469 upvotes. That's what I'm talking about. And and as a content creator, if you want to make money, if you want to make money, you're going to go where the, the views are. She, before you know it, she's going to be like, man, I, I, got, I haven't gotten traction except anything about talking about men's issues. I'm going to talk about men's issues. Her channel blows up. She gets lots of views. She continues to do it. But the problem is she's talking to men. She's not reaching out and and getting new female viewers. She's not resonating with women. She's resonating with men. So it's not reaching out there further to really change women's mind. It's just reinforcing men's mind about what they already know. Just hearing it from a woman makes them feel good. That's all I'm saying. All right, let's get into the 63% thing. I, I, I pulled like two minutes because I want to I want to talk about some of this stuff a little bit. And I, and I did speed it up. So those of you that listen to me a little bit faster, you may want to slow it down for the time being because I, I know it gets pretty quick. If you're a single girl out here in these streets and you're thinking, am I crazy? Or are these guys like not even wanting to date and hook up, let alone get married? Am I the problem? Are we why these men don't want to get married? Ugh. I have good news and bad news. The good news is you're not crazy. The bad news is it's worse than you thought. The so yeah, she, uh, well, I'll let her finish her thought here. The very minuscule amount of kingpin level good men, the ones that are actually husband material, are almost certainly already married, about to be, or here's your very grim reality check, rotting away to near extinction. Now, here's why I wanted to pause it here at this point. She says the very minuscule amount of men 
that are either worthy or you're willing to marry. Okay, there's a whole lot of men on this planet. Now, she doesn't wear a wedding ring. I don't know how old she is, but, you know, she's she's charismatic. If you watch her videos, she's very charismatic. She's pretty. Why isn't she married yet? She says it's impossible to find somebody to date, and it, she has the same problems every other woman does. There's not enough super good-looking, you know, conservative value, high-earning, tall, muscular. She does the same thing all the other women do. She's a five percenter. She's chasing a five percenter. I just wanted to, to, to let her play that part because I wanted to, to kind of push back and say, you know, she, she even says it herself. Look what she shows for the, the men that she thinks are worthy. A, a movie, like action scene. Uh, you know, I, I guess princes, princesses, movie stars. Like she, she let the cat out of the bag. She let the cat out of the bag level good men. What, what was the level she was talking about here? Thought The very minuscule amount of kingpin level good men. There you go. The, the kingpin level of good men is minuscule. Wow, there's 50% women, 49% men, I think, and 51% men, women on this planet. But out of those 50% of men, we're minuscule. See, her, her the only wanting the best of the best, it's showing through. The ones that are actually husband material are almost certainly already married, about to be, or here's your very grim reality check, rotting away to near extinction. Turns out the large majority of men- And this is what she quotes right here. This is from the Daily Mail. America's Lonely Male Hearts Club records 63% of men in their 20s are single, almost double the number of women with uh, end of traditional masculine roles, uh, the saucy content on the internet and the bug blamed for the stark rise. Uh, and I, I won't disagree. Um, you know, the more you tell men, oh, you don't have to be masculine. And she gets into a lot of this with the video. I'm not going to really get into that portion of it. But, you know, guys just say, hey, I've been told I'm not wanted in society. I'm no good. Women don't need me. Um, why am I going to break my back to, to try to please an unpleasable woman? I'm just going to stay alone. And, and she's right about that. Men 18 to 30 years old. Well, that she's right. I mean, the article's right. Are single by choice. You're not crazy after all. Don't believe me? A new Pew Research study found that 63% of men don't want to pursue any sort of relationship with women. That means serious or casual. They right. So 63% do not want to pursue basically women at all. That's not casual dating. That's not long-term dating. That's not even hookup culture. Men are done. Men are done with it. And this is good. You know, when, when, when morale is, uh, what is it? The beatings will continue until morale improves. The men are, are just beating the women. They're just saying, I'm not going to partake. You, I, I'm not going to have anything to do with you. Until your morale, until your attitude, until the way that you view me and the world and everything else improves. And the more, um, I just saw a study today that 25% of the gen, is it the Gen Z or the Gen Alpha, whatever the youngest uh, generation is, 25% now identify in the LDHD TV community. Now, many of the women that say that they're, I don't know, bi or, or do date both men and women, ironically, uh, I forget the percentage, but the vast majority of them only date men. So they're only saying they're in the community because it's being part of the cool gang. But the truth is that, that even if you take out, I don't know, 12%, 15%, 18% of those people from the dating pool for men, and then on top of that, you add how many men aren't looking, the prospects for women are not looking good. And that is a good thing because they're eventually going to have to change the way that they operate or men are just saying, I'm okay, not, not participating literally feel no motivation to leave their house, period. You know things are bad when guys think a booty call is too much work. The evidence points to some very specific problems. I've seen multiple conservative commentators speculate about what they think is the root of this shift, and no surprise, they're wrong. Let me tell you something about 99% of female commentators. You know what amazes me, just while I think of it? She's got multiple camera angles on her at the same time. That means she has multiple cameras on her recording, and then she edits them together. I mean, that's pretty high, that's pretty high bu production budget, which seems kind of odd for a, a channel that only has 25,000 subscribers. 
Uh, I, I just, just making note of that, not that it's any on the right who talk about dating culture and relationships hardly any of them have had significant real world experience with dating culture and relationships they think they're too highbrow for dating apps they marry the first or second guy they've made eye contact with and their understanding on what it's actually like out here is hate to say it no i don't derived from trad wife twitter accounts secretly run by gay men trying to catfish straight one so what she's saying here and again this this is very ironic she's saying a lot of these trad wife accounts that are out there trying to convince women uh, these conservative women, what it's like in the dating world. They don't know because they meet the first or second guy they've ever met. They got married and started having children. So they don't know what the dating world is. So they shouldn't be giving advice. Okay. But if, if you're going to ask a woman, Hey, how did, how did you meet the love of your life and, and decide he was the right one and start having children? If she didn't date a lot of people, isn't that the person you'd want to talk to for that kind of advice? I mean, if you're trying to, to find somebody and have a long-term serious relationship and get married, the person you'd want to talk to is the one that's done that, not the one that's been out there on the carousel riding around and uh, not having much success. Again, I don't know how old she is, but the way she's talking, she's like, you need to listen to me about dating advice because I've been out there and I'm and I've been doing it. And I've been on these dating apps and I've done this and I've done, okay, but you're single. You don't have an engagement ring. So you failed. So why would anybody listen to you for dating advice when obviously you failed at it? I know why men have lost all incentive to pursue any type of companionship with anyone with a heartbeat. And I think we should all be very perturbed about what this means for future generations. And no, the answer is a lot more layered than just porn is bad today As, you know saucy movies is bad hey women are smarter we're graduating college at higher rates than guys and i know women don't like to admit it but we are by and large making more money we spent half a century and then she kind of goes into the you know she goes into the stuff of you know what we talk about on on the men's channels and that, that's what she does in this video but it, and, and i'm not going to get all into like everything she said because we talk about it all the time on channels like mine but you notice, again, all the comments are from men. It's not reaching anybody new. It's not doing anything new. I mean, I'm fine with her in the space. I don't care. Same thing with pearly things. Same thing with or any of the content. I'd like, I, I, you're welcome aboard. And if eventually there are so many content creators here that, that I just get less and less views and I become irrelevant and I get off the internet, I'll find something better to do. I, as a matter of fact, I plan to, on my Bachelor B-Sides channel, I plan to be doing farming stuff. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to uh, showing how I learned to be a farmer. I just bought a tractor, as a matter of fact. I literally just bought a tractor. I'm going to be doing all that stuff on another channel. I'll move and do something else, you know? So if this space gets so filled, okay, fine. But the problem is, again, that when this resonates it resonates with men. It's not resonating with the women. And the women aren't changing. And more and more men are becoming wise to it because they're finding content like this. They mix that with their real world experience of dating and online apps and all that stuff. They see what some of the laws are doing. Um, I think I have the law right here. Let me see if I, because I pinned it on my, on my page on Twitter. Let me open this image here for you guys real quick. They see what the laws are doing. Look at this law. Scotland. If you do if you're accused of doing the snuggle struggle, you won't fit in you won't sit in front of a jury of your peers. You will if you will sit in front of a single judge. And and if the not proven verdict which would normally be like, well, there's not enough evidence here. There, there's there's not enough to prove anything. That will be abolished. So you, you are either going to be found guilty based on the accusations or you have to prove that you're innocent. And this is in Scotland. What are men going to do? Do you wear a body cam 24-7? I would, and I would make it obvious. I would wear a body, body cam right on my lapel. And when anybody asks me, oh, what's that? I'm recording everything I do 24-7 in case someone excuse. Uh, uh, accuses me of something that I didn't do. And, and every day I go home, download it on a hard drive. And then when some, a woman says, oh, on such and such a day at such and such a time, you can have that thing time stamped 
and you can have video. And that way you can at least prove, but you know what they'll do? They'll say, oh, it's doctored. It's like, this, this, this is, this is the end of society. When a woman can just say you did something and if you're not able to prove that you, like how do you prove a negative? You can't. This will, I, I just don't have words for, for what this does to society. What do you think men are gonna do? And, and it may take, I don't know, one, two, three, five, ten, a generation of men but eventually men are just gonna be walking by a woman and she'll say, excuse me, and he's gonna be the one that says F off or just ignore her. Woman drowning, nope, not gonna to touch her. I'm not gonna look at her wrong. Excuse me, sir, um, no, I, I don't talk to women. And who's, who's, who's enabling this? The women. The angry, ugly, old feminists are ruining it for all women everywhere. What do you do? And I'm sorry to sit here and have so much dead air, but it's kind of like I struggle for words of how you fix this. It's futile at this point. It's just futile. I'll end it with this. I'll end it with this because this is key too, that when, when women realize they're not going to get what they want by being honest, they're going to lie to you. Or they're going to say that you did something you didn't do to get revenge on you, to exact revenge on you. And men are going to lose, learn very quickly, and this is why men are not even, they're 63% have no interest in talking to women, dating women, hooking up with women, being near women. This is uh, from NSFW, and uh, uh, I, I think this is a, a Reddit post. I, 27 female, hate how men value me because of my body count. At 27 years old, she's been with 58 different men. Uh, probably, now, that's probably a number she made up because how do you count that high? Most girls that I see graduating high school nowadays can't even count that high, uh, which I know is higher than average. No, it's, it's well, nowadays it's maybe, I don't know, maybe that is average nowadays. Uh, but I want to have fun and d enjoy new experiences. And it's my life, so I did. Well, it's your life, and you did but there are consequences to your actions. But again, young people don't know this. They've been told otherwise. She says, but I've settled down the last year and been really trying to find someone special to settle down with and start a family. All of my friends now are either married or in relationships now. And whenever I meet a match with a man or meet one in real life, they always ask me what my body count is and I tell them, and they always make a disgusted face and unmatch or ghost me. I've even met one guy who I like so much and I thought was so sweet who told me he wasn't interested in a woman with such high mileage and ended up dumping me. I cried my eyes out for days over that. I'm more than just the men that I've slept with, but no, you're not. No, you're not, and I'll tell you why. She says, I have a decent job, fun hobbies and interests and still young, but I guess I'm just a, 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 watering, a watering device, a garden watering device in most men's eyes. And the answer to that is yes. You've given the one gift that, that men want above all others from the woman they care about, and you gave it to everybody, cheaply or free, and you just said, I wanted to have my fun. Okay. Well, instead of being a, a brand new pristine Ferrari, you're a 2002 Ford Focus, whatever you want to call it. You're done. And, and she can't undo her past because here's the thing. It does damage you. It does mess you up. It does screw up with pair bonding. Uh, but anyway, the whole point is all that damage is done and she can't undo it. Do you think she'll just say, well, you know what? Um, I, 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 gotta, I made this bet. I got to lie in it. I'll make the best of it and move on. No, that's how men have to do things. What will she do? Say it with me, everybody. She'll lie. She'll lie. And the next sucker that gets with her and she lies about it and he falls in love with her and he gets with her, he doesn't realize that she can't pair bond with him and that he's not that exciting because she's had better lovers or bigger, you know, hung better or that drove fancier cars or were better looking or taller and, and she will get bored. And that's the end of that. And that's why I do stuff like this and do videos like this to tell you guys, she may tell you one thing, but she's going to lie. I guarantee you all of them, all of them that have a past will lie at some point. 
because they realize that's the only way they're going to get somebody. So what do you do? You avoid them. You avoid them more and more and more. I expect this number, I expect this number to probably be in another five years of, of everything. I expect this number to be 70 or 75%. In Scotland, 90% if they're smart with these laws. You can't undo the past. You just got to accept your, your actions and live with it. But nobody will do that today because that's not the society we live in. Everybody's flawless and perfect and you slay queen and, and you do everything right. They'll, they'll never, they'll, it, that's why I say, man, we are such a long ways from the bottom. Everything will fall apart. We're a long ways from there, but we'll see in the future. Uh, don't forget Saturday night at the movies tomorrow night. Uh, we're doing uh, Escape from New York, High Fidelity. You don't have to be a supporter. You don't have to pay anything to come join us. Uh, just, you know, uh, you, I think it's an email and a username. Make one up. Come on over. Join us. Maybe you'll stay. Maybe you'll become part of the community. Maybe you'll become a supporter. I think it's worth it. And it keeps me from having to do ad reads every other video and, and stuff like that, like most other content creators. And it keeps a couple of ducats in my pocket. So I'd appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.